in the last budget, I think we provided about $650 million in property tax relief, much of that through the school aid formula by holding down the per pupil adjustment. So when we have a record surplus, the last thing that I would ever do is say, let's just let people raise property taxes and um, kind of take it out of one pocket, putting it into the other. So, you know, I, I certainly don't see a large increase um, in property taxes in the next budget, if any. Hopefully there'd be another cut like the one we just had. Um, but I, I, I want to be able to wait and see the totality of the budget. Uh, as I've said in the past, um, I went to public school. I think public schools are a hugely important part of our state. They're part of our economic growth, uh, and they're also just part of our future. But I also know that we have a fantastic system of school choice where it, it began in Milwaukee, expanded statewide. I want to ensure that we have a robust education system top to bottom, publicly and privately funded. Um, so that's part of the discussion as well. Making sure that our school systems around the state have adequate funding um, to fund essential needs in schools, but also um, we're, in the, we're, we're in competition with other states for teachers to come. And there's currently a teacher and support staff shortage around in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, I think when you, when you talk about um, raising school funding, I think that you look at school districts around the state, some have issued referendums in the last year or two or the last several years um, to increase school funding, to make those essential classroom investments, to make sure that um, we're staying competitive and we can we can recruit and maintain our teacher and support staff. Um, also, supporting our students. They're important. They are our future. They are the investment. Um, we invest now in the early end and save us a lot of more money on the back end. Um, so make sure that our classrooms and our students have what they need to be successful and achieve. Uh, make sure we're able to improve literacy rates. Uh, make sure we're uh, making sure we're able to let our students thrive. So uh, we the question was about raising, raising limits. I think that that's what we need to do. And that's what we need to do to make sure that our classrooms and our teachers have what they need to support our young people and support our future. 